Welcome back, everyone. And in this lesson this week, we are going to basically start out by drawing a couple of parts. Now, you'll notice that they're not complete, and there's a reason for that. We're going to get into using generative design in Fusion 360. So all I want you to do is just draw the parts up as you see, and uh, we'll save those, and we'll have those ready for the next lesson. So let's jump in, and we'll start drawing this one. Uh, as you all can see, um, here is the image of it, and this is the this would be the top view. This would be or this would be the front view. This would be the top view of it. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can get some measurements. All right. So I'm just going to start off, and I want to make this plate. It's three millimeter plate. So again, this has to be in millimeters. So what I do is create new sketch. Use my rectangle command up there and just click from one corner to the next. This one is 90. If you see the overall length of it, it's 90 and it's 44. So I hit tab and go to 44, enter. Now, if you'll notice too, it's got radiuses of 12 around it. So we can do, do that. Here's your fillet. Catch that point to that point. And if you'll notice, it should be 12. I need to fix that. Twelve. That one's twelve, and uh, I was just for good measure. I'll check and see if I. D yeah, that one turned to twelve. Good shape. Uh, now with that, I want to go ahead and put me some holes in this thing. I've got six holes, and they're six diameter. So let's go ahead and do that. Just put you a circle in there. Would be all right and it's six diameter and uh, basically I want to measure from there to there and this one is going to be um, nine millimeters and from the edge over to it is also well no, it's actually 12 millimeters so now I've got something to kind of guide off of and I come across here and this one should be in the middle, so I can actually just track those and put that one in. Or you can measure it however you feel more comfortable. And I can grab that one, come over here, put a six on there, and I can measure from there. Um, actually, from there to there should be 33. All right. Well, to make it a little easier, I want to put me a line using those midpoint snaps. And I'm going to do a mirror image. I catch that. Hit my control button. That way I can catch all of them. All three of those. Zoom in. Make sure I can catch it. There I get did. And um, again, mirror. And I couldn't see my mirror over here. So I come over here. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure my my circles are selected and my mirror line select is that right there it's perfect okay so when I get that point all I want to do is uh, finish my sketch up and um, we'll do that real quick and the finish is over here you just can't see it so I hit finish sketch I want to extrude hit my shift button to smash my wheel down on my mouse rotate it up a little bit and catch those holes there. Well, actually, no. I want to just grab this and this and pull that down three millimeters. Just like that. Just don't select your holes because I, I want to be able to see through those, okay? So, got that in there. Now, and you can see I've got those holes chamfered. Uh, don't worry about that right now. I'm not too worried about that. But now I want to put in this, uh, this round piece here, okay? And if I come over here, you'll kind of see it floating in air, and that's where we're getting this. It's right in the center of it, but it's uh, 33 millimeters up, 95 over. So basically what I want to do on this is I want to get a mid-plane in between this, and the best way to do that is when you're in your feature mode here, come up to Construct, and I want to do a mid-plane. So I come down here and catch that surface. Rotate it over and catch that surface. It makes me a mid-plane and all right. 
sketch, create sketch, click on that line, and now I am ready to put that right there where it needs to go and uh, just do a circle. It's a 28 millimeters on the outside, so just 28. The, the inside bore is 18, and we've got some chamfers on it. That's why it makes it look like that. That's why you've got that extra object line in there. But uh, for our purpose, this is perfect for right now. So again, we got to finish our sketch. Nope, no we don't. We've got to go back there and get this thing located. I didn't do that. So if I want to go back, just come down here to your history, double click your sketch. And this thing is 95 millimeters from there to the center. Let's get that in there. There to there is 95 millimeters and also from the bottom to the midpoint is 33 millimeters so I hit this catch from the bottom to the center of this and that is 33 perfect now we are ready to move on okay so finish your sketch out and uh, like to rotate it so I can see what I'm doing extrude this thing you just want to catch the outside like a donut but i want to have both sides of it okay so two sides and i want to take a look and see how wide this thing is 12 millimeters y'all see that 12 millimeters so one side would have six the other one would have six as well Just like that, and then OK. And uh, for the most part, we have everything we need. So go ahead and save that. This will be project 9A-1. So save that, and we'll use this for some generative work a little bit later. Save.